My name is Mark Ferrix. Today is 28 November 2021. A proof of life video published nearly two years into his captivity showed Mark Frerix in Afghanistan. The former U.S. naval officer and civilian engineer had been kidnapped by the Taliban in January 2020 and reportedly held by the Haqqani network. Now he's free. His return is the culmination of many, many months of tireless uh, and effective work. Uh, by so many colleagues in, uh, in our government. The, the Taliban released Frerix in exchange for Haji Bashir Norzai, an Afghan tribal leader who had been serving a life sentence in the U.S. for opium smuggling. Norzai was granted clemency and received a hero's welcome at the Kabul airport. My exchange, I think, with God willing, can lead to peace between Afghanistan and America. An American was released, and I am also free with the help of the Islamic Emirate and Mujahideen. In a statement announcing Frerich's release, U.S. President Joe Biden made no mention of the prisoner swap, but said Frerich's freedom required difficult decisions to be made. Frerich's sister thanked U.S. officials and said what Biden did was right in order to save her brother's life. The Trump administration had tried and failed to secure Frederick's release and was criticized for not making it a requirement of the U.S. Taliban peace deal. His continued detention remained a major impediment to improved U.S.-Afghanistan relations after the Taliban takeover last year. There was a concern uh, that after the uh, al-Zawahiri's killing in Kabul, uh, apparently there won't be any contacts between the two sides. But uh, this release indicates that uh, despite the concerns, as I said, shared by, by the U.S. and the uh, Western community, the U.S. is uh, still uh, in contact with the Taliban and keeping a sort of engagement. At least one other American remains hostage in Afghanistan. That is filmmaker Ivor Shearer, who was detained in Kabul in August. Biden says while there is still much work to be done on many other cases, the release of Frerichs is a demonstration of the U.S.'s commitment to freeing all hostages abroad. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.